Disturbed, that's the sound of silence here on the morning after with Nick and Big J. You've had Misty Monster in our studios before. You know what she's all about. An amazing local artist that has done some incredible things in her career. And it is reaching all-time highs as there's going to be some really cool things in the future that we want to talk about. Specifically, the immediate future today, as a matter of fact. But it's an honor to welcome back into the studio, Misty Monster. Hi, Misty. Hi, thanks for having me back. Thank you for coming back in. Congratulations. It's a pretty big first Thursday for you, right? Yes, it is. Boise Brewing tonight, um, 5 to 8. We're part of First Thursday in downtown Boise. And I am showing 14 of my tarot paintings tonight. So it's a whole suit. So in the tarot suits are similar to suits and card decks. Like you have clubs and hearts, but in the tarot you have like cups and wands and things. So I'm so showing the whole suit of wands and it's all skeletons. Okay, so nice. So right on trend for Halloween, October. Yep. It's yep. perfect. And you know, last time you came in, we were talking about this tarot deck that you've been working on for a really long time. This is an incredibly important passion project for you, right? It is 15 years. Wow, it's crazy. <laughs> like a large portion of my life yeah. I've been working on it. Um, so right now I'm just trying to show the paintings in like small bits here and there. Um, tomorrow we're also having an opening at Riverside Hotel where I'll have two paintings in a group show, also tarot paintings. So I've kind of created a map where I'm handing them out tonight at Boise Brewing along with the potato oracle cards. Okay. Where a potato will tell you your fortune. You just get a little (laughs) scratch off and you get to like find out what she has to say about life. I love it. Um, I call them her starch raving mad predictions. Oh, so, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm from Idaho. I can't help it. Oh, but that's wonderful. Anyway, uh, so yeah, a <laughs> couple of events coming up. We're just kind of trying to do little pocket, like pop-up event type things leading up to next October's big all 78 tarot paintings being shown, costumes being worn from the tarot, the whole shebang. Yeah, the work you put into this, I mean, it's its a lot. I mean, each time you do one of these events uh, is, is a lot of work. But uh, going in towards next year, I mean, this is your life's work. Oh, it is. And this, I feel like this is a little practice run, you know, where I'm like, well, how will this feel if I hand out some, like, you know, merch here or do this here or call up you guys and go, hey, can I come on? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so. Yeah. No, it, it makes sense because this has been, you know, such a project that you've worked a long time for mm-hmm. and to try to see these things come to fruition is is also a lot of work to make these events happen and these one-offs happen and planning a gigantic exhibition for next october is a mm-hmm. pretty big deal as well especially considering the numbers that you're dealing with 78 painting is nothing to sneeze at of course the paintings that are going to be on display tonight nothing to sneeze at as mm-hmm. well um you know as you put these on is it like just to give people kind of like a sneak peek of what this is going to look like are, are there going to be some things available to purchase? What's the idea behind the uh, the first Thursday showing tonight at Boise Brewing? I would, I think it's m- many things mm-hmm. happening. Um, these paintings will just sit in my apartment until next October if I don't do something with them. So <laughs> showing them is one step, sure. right? Yeah. Let's get them out there. It also lets people know I'm doing this, right? Like let people know so far in advance. Like so, maybe there's a little hype before the actual, you know, big show next year. Um, Yes, Dana, my cousin, who's sitting in here but off camera, (laughs) she is going to be running. We're having a little pop-up merch store tonight also. So we found some old, I used to sell full, like, I would go to San Diego Comic-Con and I used to sell here at like Hyde Park Street Fair and stuff, Mm -hmm. but like jewelry and prints and stuff like that. But we found some from those old shows because I quit like 10 years ago. I just didn't want the whole traveling, being a merchandiser life, but she found some stuff i found some stuff and she's gonna sell it tonight at the show so that's kind of a special from the vault kind of thing okay so yeah a little bit of sales but paintings obviously i have to hold on to until yeah next year till i at least get one big show out of the way i would have to imagine that you know uh as you're uh approaching that big goal next year is it hard to put uh put put away other ideas that might pop up for some things like (laughs) how do you manage that and i mean that's got to be difficult because sometimes you know, you get an idea and it's, it's still in the front of your head. And you, meanwhile, you're trying to work on this other project. A hundred percent. I'm actually struggling with that every day. There was a show that came up where it was a fundraiser for the Peregrine Fund yeah. for oh, yeah. a new gallery, the Poetic Tiger Gallery that just opened. And so I did a little five by seven for them. And I knew I had no time to do it, but I was like, oh, I still want to do it. 
And then to make these potato oracle cards, I had to paint a new painting of a potato. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds so awesome, but, um, and then also I can't turn down, but I just got invited to the Krampus Invitational Art Show. Okay. I guess it's being put on at Visual Arts Collective. Um, Noble Hardesty is part of it. He's like a pretty well-known local artist. And I'm like, Krampus, of course. Yeah. At least I have till the beginning of December, but it's exactly yeah. what you said. Right. I struggle constantly to stay in this lane, but still not turn down other exciting things, you know? It makes a lot of sense, and it makes you incredibly busy, I'm sure. But hopefully, when you have an event like what's going to be happening over the next couple of mm -hmm. days, it, it, it reinvigorates you and goes, you know what, this is why I started this to begin with. These people right. are interested in this really cool original artwork, and they respect and honor what I do, which is really awesome. And, of course, you're incredibly talented. So Thank there's you. that as well that brings it into the fold. But we want people to show up both tonight and tomorrow night at these mm -hmm. events so they can see sneak peeks of these amazing tarot cards that you were nice enough to kind of show us a little bit last time you came in. And I know these things are amazing. So if people want to show up to Boise Brewing tonight, what time is everything's going down? Okay, Boise Brewing, everybody always asks, where is it? Mm -hmm. It is downtown on Broad Street. It is close to the Trader Joe's that's right down by the there. Trader yep. Joe's, yeah. So that's the area. Um, I am going to be there before five, but five to eight is kind of like the first Thursday time that people can come through. I will definitely be there five to eight, Boise Brewing. I'm going to be wandering around. They have food and drink for purchase. So you can actually sit down and eat while you're there too. So I have people from work coming and some friends and some family and I invited everybody. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> you know, good. I think I even have a couple of my intellectual property lawyers showing up. <laughs> They're like, sure. Hey, they like the party too. <laughs> yeah, I love sense. it. It made me so happy. I'm like, okay. I was like, maybe they don't get invited to stuff that's like, yeah. like so like fun, I guess. Like, <laughs> Come to the brewery. But plenty of people from work were like, brewery? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Is it going to be, because they have like the uh, the the brewery side of things and they have mm -hmm. the restaurant side of things. Is it on one particular side of Boise Brewing that people want to look for? Well, we are going to set it up actually a few hours from now. Uh -huh. So I haven't even set it up we'll yet. We'll figure it out as we but go. But I think it's going to be on both okay. sides. I honestly do. If not, they're both connected. You so can't miss. Yeah, I'll, I mean, be, I'll be walking around. I'm in a B shirt, everybody. <laughs> there's a big bumblebee on it. You can find me. Just look for the big B. <laughs> And if there's not art hanging up where you are, it's in the other part of right, Boise Brewing right. is You'll essentially it. what it boils down to. <laughs> and then if people want to go to the Riverside Hotel side of things, when's that all going down? That is tomorrow night. Um, that's for the first Friday downtown for Garden City. So first Thursday, Boise, first Friday, Garden City. Um, they are putting them all in the lobby of the Riverside Hotel. Nice. So I think it's like I don't know how many artists are in that one, but like multiple artists. It's mm -hmm. for Treasure Valley Artist Alliance. So they do a lot of group shows. It's kind of cool. So that's from 5.30 to 8. So just keep the 5 to 8 yeah, <laughs> in your mind. It's, it's close enough. So... I like it. Today and tomorrow is when these events are happening. You have an opportunity to support some great local artists as well as seeing some really cool and really exclusive things. How big are these canvases that we're talking about? They are 16 by 20 right. and then framed, you know, added another few inches around mm -hmm. them and stuff. And they're all over the place in framing, too. We have some awesome glitter frames. We have some awesome, you know, black frames. Like, honestly, people have been more excited about the framing in some ways because they've been looking at these paintings online for so long. But then they see that they're like, oh, my gosh, it's a whole the whole thing's art. Right. I'm like. Come down and see the frame. Yeah, it's it's amazing. You know, it's it, something new. Amazing artwork that you're going to be able to see. We've had a chance to check some of it out. Now you can in person. And uh, Misty, if people want to follow you or check out some of your artwork or purchase something online, what's the best place to follow you and do those things? Uh, my website, morbidlyadorable.com. I am also, let's see, I'm also doing a GoFundMe. That's actually, that's how I got the first. I've had 26 of the 78 paintings framed already. And that was all done through crowdfunding. So it's been pretty amazing because I'm looking at probably ten to twelve thousand dollars just to get seventy eight paintings done. Yeah. And I don't think people really do the math and they go, Oh, yeah, it takes a lot to frame yes. stuff. So I have gofundme.com slash morbidly adorable tarot. And if anybody wants to pitch in, it's super awesome. I've had some really great people. Anywhere from five bucks to fifteen hundred people have pitched in. It's been pretty amazing. Um, those are my two main, I guess, if Instagram, mm -hmm. morbidly adorable. There you go. <laughs> so.
that's where you find it. It's the common thread uh, swinging mm-hmm. through all this amazing and beautiful artwork. But uh, if you get a chance, check it out in person tonight. Boise Brewing, tomorrow, the Riverside Hotel. That's where you can see some of these sneak peeks before we are about a year out from the gigantic exhibition mm-hmm. that you've been working your tail off on as well. But uh, listen, we're fans. We love what you do. It's incredibly awesome stuff. And we're very mm-hmm. happy that you're finally able to show some people this artwork. And I'm sure you're excited about it as well, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. Go check awesome. out morbidlyadorable.com if you want more information and then go tonight to Boise Brewing and check out the fun for First Thursday. Misty, thank you for coming in. Thank we appreciate you. it. I'm yeah, thank you. Anytime. Morning after with Nick and Big J. First keyword of the day for textual healing next on the X.